Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're having the Battle of the Concealers. So on this side, we have the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer, and on this side, we have the Tarte Shape Tape. So let's start off with the Overachiever. I got the shade Sugar Biscuit, which is also 12G. Um, this is for light to medium skin tones with golden and peachy undertones. I am pretty golden. Um, I don't have any peachy undertones, but the peachy undertones in the concealer serve as a color corrector. This is supposed to be full coverage, perfect for all skin tones, even sensitive. So this concealer has a luminous matte finish. It's supposed to disguise the appearance of redness, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, age spots. It is infused with green tea, which is supposed to help with um, discoloration and the signs of stress. It's also infused with Jericho Rose Extract, which is supposed to soothe and moisturize. And this concealer is also supposed to be water resistant and transfer free. The tip on the applicator is supposed to soothe and depuff as you apply. I will show you guys that in a second. Um, but beforehand, I'll let you guys know this is $30 and it has 0.34 ounces. And um, I actually got it uh, for 20 25.59 with the rouge 20 percent off holiday bonus so yes i was very excited if you guys hear noise in the background it's my neighbors i feel like i say that every single video this it should just be part of my persona from now on like i'm really sorry i just i can't get them to shut up ever well this concealer does come in 20 shades um personally i don't think it's a pretty good shade range because most of the shades actually look very orange and and i did notice that these oxidize they're all very orangey in my opinion i noticed it when i swatched it and i also saw a couple of other reviews where people were saying that they oxidize so that's concerning but um aside from that the shade range is just there's not enough shades for deeper skin tones i feel like we say this about every company and nobody does anything and it's honestly embarrassing at this point this is what the concealer looks like it's like this little it's this very tiny tube it is very tiny like i just look <laughs> or maybe i just have a really big finger anyways i mean long finger um this is the applicator that I was telling you guys about. I have not used this concealer, so I don't know if it feels soothing or anything, but I don't like these kinds of applicators. Like, I just feel like you don't have that much control because you could easily squeeze out way too much product. I just, I don't like that. I prefer the applicator on the Tarte Shape Tape. For the Shape Tape, it has mango seed and shea butter. It is also full coverage and it has a matte finish. The Shape Tape is um, marketed for highlighting and contouring. The Huda Beauty uh, Concealer is not, so I don't know if you can highlight it. Well, I'm sure you can highlight, but I don't know if you can contour with it. Um, I didn't get a darker shade, so I'm, I can't test with that. I'm sorry, you guys. I do use the shade Medium, uh, also known as 35N, which is for medium skin tones with neutral undertones which is actually kind of surprising to me because this does look kind of peachy once you apply it this does retail for 27 dollars and it has 0.33 ounces yes 0.33 ounces so just like the tiniest bit less than the um Huda beauty but like the tiniest tiniest bit this does come in 30 shades but again the um tan to deep portion of those shades are not very good it does not go as deep as it could go. There's like a whole bunch of light and medium shades and then you have like a couple tans deep. Which is honestly not even surprising from Tarte. That's one thing both of these brands need to work on with their shade range in the concealer department. And foundation department if we're being honest. But yeah, right now we're focusing on the concealers. Yeah, they definitely need to expand their deeper um, portion of the shades. Like, we've got more than enough light and medium, please. Just stop. So I am gonna do my foundation off camera and um, I'll be right back so we can apply these concealers and compare them. So I'm gonna do Tarte Shape Tape on this side and Huda Beauty on this side. We're gonna go in first with the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys have seen me apply this a hundred times. Dancing, 
I'll also post some swatches of these side by side. So let's see. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right. Okay, it definitely has a cooling effect. So that could definitely be very soothing. Yeah, that feels very nice. Wow. That felt really nice. <laughs> wow, looking at them, the shades are really, really similar. Um, the Huda Beauty one is like a little peachier. But they look pretty much the same. They both look really full coverage. All right, let's blend these out. Um, I'm gonna, excuse my dirty sponge. I'm gonna blend out the Tarte Shape Tape first. <laughs> You guys already know the Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit dry, in my opinion, but it does look incredible. So I can put up with a little bit of like, when I say dry, I mean like you have to use a little bit more effort to blend it out, not that it looks dry. So now I'm going to blend the Huda Beauty side with a clean sponge. This is such a pretty color. My god. Wow. Okay. Oh, snap. She looks super full coverage. I think I might have used too much. This. Wow. I know I, I know my under eyes look really bright, but wow. Once blended out, this does appear to be a little lighter than the shape tape, but I don't know. It hasn't fully dried yet, so I don't know if it's gonna oxidize or what's gonna happen. I heard it oxidizes, we'll see. Um I don't know if it's because I use too much or what, but this is giving me a lot better coverage than the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm shook right now, you guys. Shook. This looks amazing. Amazing. Um, I will set my concealer. I always set my concealer. Like, I just, I, I don't know how people go out and don't set the concealer, like. I'm gonna crease if I don't set. Sorry about the noise. I am gonna add a little more shape tape just to see um, if it evens out. I did get a little more coverage, but Huda Beauty is still in the lead. So we are up close and personal right now. As you can see, um, they're both full coverage. The Huda Beauty is a little brighter, which actually I do not mind. Um, they're both set right now. So one set, I, they both look amazing. They both look amazing. But that coverage on that Huda Beauty though. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts. So I have a question and I want to know if any of you thick haired cuties can relate. So I washed my hair yesterday at around 12 p.m. I let her air dry the entire day. It was like almost 10 o'clock at night and my hair still wasn't dry so I was like whatever I'm gonna diffuse it. So I diffuse it and I think okay yeah it's dry. 
psych i woke up this morning and my hair was still wet like my roots were wet i guess i didn't notice last night or i was just too tired but it's like how is that even possible does that happen to any of you like jesus if i like stayed there and diffused my hair until it was completely dry i would just never never stop but anyways this is my finished look for today i will list down below all the products i used off camera so you guys can check those out in the bottom bar so for the battle of the concealers today i think this is a tie i'm not sure which one i like better i like them both i think it all comes down to your preference i honestly don't even know what to tell you guys they both look amazing they're both full coverage they're both matte um the huda beauty i guess it did sort of end up oxidizing a little bit i did mention that it was lighter than the tarte shade tape and right now it's almost the same shade as the tarte shade tape it's a little bit lighter still but it did darken up a bit. It's not that big of a deal to me. I probably suggest going one or two shades um, lighter than you usually would go with your concealer. Um, swatch them in stores, walk around, and um, wait till the, the swatches dry down so that you can see how it looks wet and dry. Third shade tape would always be my ratted eye, but Huda Beauty did the damn thing. So this concealer gets a huge thumbs up for me. I absolutely recommend it to you guys go on and try it for yourselves because it's amazing so that is it for my little review slash comparison i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye